Hey everybody, welcome to DirectX 11 tutorial 44. I know it's been a bit over a month since I've uploaded a video. I've just been a bit busy. So originally I was going to make some tutorials on loading the different 3D file formats starting with OBJ and then going to FBX and etc. However, uh, I realized we were just going to have like 30 tutorials on loading uh, 3D models and that was going to be pretty boring and a waste of time because there's already existing libraries for importing these 3D models. So instead what we are going to do is we are going to use a library called Asimp or Asimp, I don't know how you say it, but it is the Open Asset Import Library. And if you go to their website and you go to Downloads, uh, go to Download Page, we can download the setup executable. We are going to save that. And then once that is saved, you will run the executable and accept the agreement. Just next through it, install, and um, agree and install. And you shouldn't get an error, but I got an error because I've already installed it. Now, once it is installed, we need to set this up for our Visual Studio project. So what we will do is I want mine to be set up for the GitHub. So first I will find the, let's see, it's in program files. I will find the asymp folder and I'm going to copy inside of the includes. I'm going to copy the asymp folder and then back in the uh, our solution in the includes folder, I'm going to paste this asymp folder. Next, I am going to go to the lib folder in asymp. Now there is only a folder for x64. However, when I test it, it seems like this works in 32-bit or 64-bit, so I'm not sure why it says x64. But what we are going to do is we're just going to copy that library and then back in our project, inside of the lives folder, instead of x64 or x86, um, I'm just going to create a folder called um, any, I guess. And I'm going to paste that right here. Next, we need to get the DLL. So back inside of asemp, if you go to bin in x64, there are these three DLLs and we need all of them. So when we go to where our EXEs are generated, so for example, if we're doing x64 debug, now this is the folder. Um, I've already pasted these here, but um, I'm just going to put these for now in the x64 debug folder. If you want to run it in release, you'd also have to paste it you know, in the release folder. And if you wanted to run it in 32-bit, you'd have to do the same thing but I don't want the GitHub repo to get too large. So I'm just going to have it uh, in the debug x64 folder and you'll have to manually copy it if you want it in the others. So now let's go into setting it up for the project. So in our project, we're going to go to project properties and up in our directories, let's see, we don't need to change the includes, that's the same. However, for the library directories, we need to add the um, new library directory for any. So I'm going to select that and I actually need to modify that to use the uh, relative directory with that macro. So let's see. So it should look like this and let's just make sure, look at the evaluated value and yeah, that looks correct. So I'm going to copy that, hit apply, and set that up for the other platforms and configuration. So let's go to release, and go to library directories, add that, apply, and then go to uh, 132, which it will close the properties page, and we have to reopen it, and do the same thing, and then for debug the boring setup tutorials. Okay, now we have that set up. So next what we have to do is, there's a couple things. So 
we could manually link to the library like we were doing before. For example, if we search our uh, solution for Pragma Comet, this is where I'm GUI is doing it. I'm not going to touch any of the I'm GUI code, but up in our project, we are manually linking to D3D11, DirectXCK, DXGI, and there was one other, but I'd rather just do these, uh, I should have done these originally at the project properties level instead of in the code. So I'm going to copy the names of these. I'm going to take out the code where we are doing it with the pragma comment. And then I think we had one other one, yeah, for a D3D compiler. So I'm going to take that out as well, and just to make sure. Okay, that was all of them. So we're going to do this at the project properties level. So we'll go up to project, we'll go down to properties, and we're going to do this for all configurations, for all platforms. And of course, we have to reopen it when we do that. And if we go to linker, and then we go down to input, for the additional dependencies, we can link to the libraries right here. So we just put in the library names, and there's one more library that we need to add. So if we go back to our solution directory, and we go to lives and any, this is our new library, the asemp library. So we are going to add that library in and press OK, apply, OK, and now we should be good to go. Let's just, I'm going to test this in debug x64 and see that it still runs. Okay, and it still runs just fine. So we have set up our project to use asemp. And in the next tutorial, we are going to actually look into loading uh, the positional uh, vertex data in the indices to load a uh, 3D model.